top fellas and ladies. I'm Reese and I am Jonesy. Remember our famous section, Reese's friend section. Panda's getting horny. Do you think Reese's a sociopath? No, you said like, genocide. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like <laughs> genocide. Hey guys, welcome to the Whip It Out channel. I'm Reese and I am Mr. Joe. And this is our, as you can see from the title, Avengers Endgame predictions. Video schwa. I am very excited, Reese. We are both very excited. Can you tell no by my spoilers. voice? I don't know what that voice is, but... That is my vision voice. As you can see again from the title, no spoilers. We haven't seen it. Apart from when we say those spoilers Apart later. Apart from when we spoil <laughs> the whole movie. But no, neither of us have seen it. We're seeing it tomorrow when recording this. Tomorrow at midnight. What's yes. morning? He was like, we've seen it tomorrow. Well, in the future we have seen it tomorrow. It was, sorry, the English made me laugh. Carry on. <laughs> anyway, so as you can tell from the video, this is our end game predictions. Yes. So we have no idea what's going to happen. We don't know anything. No spoilers. Mm -hmm. We've seen the trailers, same as most of you watching will have. And um, yeah, so people new and old to our channel, this is kind of a soft reboot, I called it in my notes. Yeah. Uh, we've done podcasts that you can see on our channel previously. Much longer, much longer videos. Much, much too, far too long. Too long, too long, as that comment said. Yeah, favorite a lovely comment, comment on a video. Yeah. Lovely comment. Yeah, we're two rambling idiots who didn't really discuss anything. And like we said, you Which know, is what we were aiming for. So yeah, right? you know, we've we've achieved that, and yeah. I think that should be in the. Now we're done with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we've perfected that. That was part one. Yeah, that was Phase Infinity one. War. And then now we're, we're moving in on the to end the end game. game, which is short, snappy, and to the point. Yeah. Why? Snappy. Why? Because Endgame comes out tomorrow. We have no time. <laughs> and we just filmed this and then lost it. Yes. No, we didn't. No, we're professional, Reese. So, yeah, we're going to do our predictions in this video. And then hopefully after we've seen it, if we're not crying messes, mm -hmm. we're going to review it. Even better, let's be crying messes. <laughs> Welcome to Whip Out. <laughs> anyway, so let's get straight into it. At number one, my number one prediction. Fire away. Cap. Eats shit and dies. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! No! In that oh. brutal. No, yeah. he dies. Thanos. What do you think? Thanos fires a log out right into Steve Rogers' face. Yeah, mate. with Ant Man's holding on to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it didn't work! work. <laughs> Tries climbing the inside. The internet was wrong! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish. Um, You know what? I like the theory. Like I said, I'm not too sure on certain deaths, you know, it's all up in the air, but I like the idea that Steve Rogers is maybe not gone, dead, mm. but chooses if, like, like there's the theory of time travel or, you know, alternative universes being a thing. That could be seen as, like, a, a, a spoiler, but it's it's all theorising at this yeah. moment in time. Um, so if this is a real thing, I think a perfect ending for the character of Steve Rogers is that he goes back in time or goes to an alternative universe mm. at a different time and gets his final dance with Peggy. I like it. I like the... Yeah. I don't... Well, I do like it, but I don't. Thank you. I like the time travel bit. I yes. don't think... I don't like the alternate universes. Yeah. I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, yeah. I think that's too much. Okay. I don't think they're going to Spider-Verse this. Spider-Verse it up. Oh, yeah. It works in animated... I think it's a cool concept in in real reality, maybe. But I think I think, think for right. the movie, if you bring it, if you say there's all, unlimited Iron Men out mm -hmm. there or whatever, then it becomes a bit. See, the thing is, for me, it seems like the more viable option to go alternative universe with the quantum realm, and I. It, but it seems like from what people are kind of speculating that they're going to go time travel. So it's I kind think of that's that, still going to be through the quantum realm. That's though. That's the thing. Yeah, well, that's not that's not. Have you seen that Man and the Wasp? Yes. Okay, in that Man and the Wasp, some people may not remember. Uh, the old wasp talks about time pockets. Janet Van Dyne. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talks about time pockets. Yeah, don't in get the lost. Quantum in... realm. Yeah. So. Well, that's always an option. Like I said, yeah. I think it'd be far. I do agree with you. It'd be far too much to kind of introduce both of them. Yeah. And then be like, oh, there's also this and this. So yeah. yeah. And but like I said, if they do time travel, I want it to be kind of no pun intended. I want it capped. <laughs> so. Oh um, God. The oh, next God. point. <laughs> No, I, I want there to be like a cap on it though. I don't want it to just be free reign, ultra yeah, power. Yeah. Anybody like this needs so. to be limited. Time yeah, travel, you can't just hard to achieve. Nothing matters at that. Because then point. otherwise, later on, if stuff happens, yeah, like, just time travel again. Yeah, and fix it. Like, but yeah, for the character of Cap, like you said, I want him to go back in time for Steve. 
Uh, as Steve, yeah, sorry, not the mantle of Captain America. That could be passed on, like, you know, potentially to a new Avenger or somebody that we've not quite met yet. Mm. Um, but I like so the idea... Of, Rocket Raccoon, I think. Yeah, Rocket straight up. Excellent. Let's have him in there. Captain Raccoon. Yeah, <laughs> Captain Raccoon. <laughs> oh, my God, that's amazing. Um, but I like the idea of potentially going back in time, having these final dance with Peggy, and then in the present day, you know, the new Avengers see him with the picture of him dancing, you know. Yeah. It's in some old newspaper article or, you know, it's an old And then he's like, somewhere. it's shit in World War Two. Yeah. <laughs> Take me back to my flat screen internet. Just a picture of him <laughs> screaming for a like, frozen. Shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> holding up like a placard, like on the side of a street, saying, yeah. "Come get me, boys." Bring me. And it's like, well, put that away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. I like it. So, talking of Iron Man, I don't think. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Part of me thinks Iron Man may die because he's he was started it. Maybe he ends it. Yep. Um, but I've got it written down here. Is he too connected to the MCU? Is he too much of a backbone piece? Yeah. You know, he's his technology's everywhere in the movies. He's again started it. Yeah. Been in a lot of the movies. I just wonder if Robert Downey Jr. Not Iron Man maybe mm-hmm. is too too crucial. But so whether they'll kill him or not. Whatever. Yeah. I think I think it's a good point. Like you said, I think I think the main thing that I latch onto is the how much of a figurehead he is. Yeah. Um. You, you spoke about him like ending it. I, I get what you mean. Is like the sequence he's ending it, but as we quite obviously know, Marvel movies aren't ending. Yeah. So I think I, th- I don't think you could either kill him, but I think the idea of them like, you know, a way to kind of twist it is people are expecting a lot of people to die. What you've got to remember is this is catering to an audience of kids and stuff as well. So I think even ending with deaths might be a bit too harsh. True. I think, you know, people it's not can Game of Thrones. Die. Exactly. It's not Game of Thrones. And I think that's where people are getting lost. So I think the idea of, like, Cap going back and then staying in the old times and, you know, choosing to be there is a bittersweet ending yeah. for his character. He, he wants to be there, but it's sad for us as the viewers because he's no longer part of the team. Mm. We won't be seeing him in films. Uh, and then I think potentially the same for Iron Man, where he steps down from the mantle of Iron Man and works more as like a figurehead kind of figure, mm. looking down, maybe, you know, kind of Nick Fury-esque, um, kind of Hank Pym, you know, from Ant-Man, kind of like as one of the old boys kind of teaching the new guard how yeah. to do it. Um, and like I said, then he stays in as the figurehead, but he also gives him the option to potentially come in at later dates as, you know, like out of retirement, wrestling yeah. style, like Hulkamania coming back you just gave me a very interesting idea i do that just spark it up go on Fire what away. if iron man does die <gasps> i think this might have happened in the totally comics against as well. i don't read the it. comics but no i'm just thinking what if, <laughs> it is kind of what you go on it is against what you said but also kind of follows what you said okay I'm with what it. if he does he physically dies mm-hmm. but he has somehow become an ai okay or has saved himself as an ai or has copied himself, you know, something he's been working on it in some way. Okay. Or, you know, there's an AI that's not really him, but it is him. Like, it's his voice. Yeah, it's, it's like, and he's, so he's taught it to kind of react how he would in situations. Yeah, yeah it's or it's of, learned from him. Yeah. And so, in the movies going on, Iron Man's dead. Yeah. But there's the Iron Man AI, mm-hmm. or Stark AI, maybe it's called. Okay. Or Tony AI, you know, yeah, and, yeah. It, and it is in a few of the movies. It'd be interesting. Maybe, yeah, nice way to go maybe he's like a hologram thing, and he so, so in the spider suit. Yeah, <gasps> that'd be it, it. Would be cool, and I like it as a concept. I don't think it's gonna happen. I like it though. And I Iron think, Man could turn up as yeah. a suit and have his voice, but he doesn't have to be on set. Doesn't have to go yeah. filming. Yeah, I think I do like. It's just it. a random thing. I no, no, it's, it's cool. Like you said, it, it's, it's theorizing. That's yeah. what we're doing. Isn't what it? we're doing. I think that's what you're watching right now. You see, you're watching this, or you're listening to this. Or you clicked off it. I hope you're enjoying, my friends. Yeah. Um, anyway, but yeah, I think that could be cool. I think once again, I think it might just be a bit too harsh, but him taking a back step, kind of looking on, is something that they could do because mm. then it's once again bittersweet. And who looked what rating this is? Hmm, that's interesting. Mm. I'll probably, I think they change overseas as well, so it, it'll be changed wherever yeah. you are. I imagine it's still twelve, isn't it? UK, it's probably twelve, twelve yeah. a. Um. Yeah, so we talked about time travel. Yeah, man. I had to kind of reverse Captain America idea to yours. Mm-hmm. Not that yours couldn't still happen. He goes forward in time. Yes, from <gasps> Avengers. Well, my theory, what maybe it was, or a few people's theories, I've seen this around. Cap dies. Mm-hmm. Our Cap. Yeah. Your present Cap dies. Yeah. Fighting Thanos, maybe towards the start of the movie. Then they time travel back to potentially around the Avengers time. Mm-hmm. 
and maybe grab Cap. Maybe we say, we need you. We Something happened to you. We can't say what. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> like Rick and Morty. They're like pushing his body out of the it, side. Like, like, yeah. like Rick and Morty where they go to the other dimension where Rick and Morty die at that yeah. exact point. Yeah. Someone's like shuffling his body away. <laughs> Covered like, in Cap's look. blood, just wiping it off. Yeah. And and also maybe grab some of the Infinity Stones while they're there from the past. Okay. Yeah. Use. Yeah. The Tesseract's there. Yeah. The Loki's staff is there, which is Vision. Making... Thanos weaker. Well, either, either we don't know how if time travel is in this if it would yeah. work. Either them taking them then removes them from him, mm. which then again would undo Infinity War maybe. Yeah. Or they take them and they still exist. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like so, taking them from there doesn't remove them from him. It just gives them a few stones to use. Yeah. Or something. Maybe. Like I said, I think it, it it's a bit dodgy, and I might. When it comes to time travel, I'm not too comfortable. I kind of stand with um, what Justin Roiland and Dan Hartman said. He said, like, uh, with when they, they create a Morty. Yeah, yeah. creates a Rick and Morty, if people don't know. He said they stay away from um, time travel as, as a theory and everything that goes on is, like, you know, multiple universe. You know, they stay well away from that. If they yeah. go when Morty's a kid, they've gone to a universe where Morty's a kid. It's not time travel. Yeah. Um, because it, it, it can throw up too many problems. And that's kind of the ilk what I'm at with it. I'm not too keen. I think it's like, like you said, it can be rolled into things too... It, it weakens everything. And I think the idea that you have something like the Infinity uh, Time Stone that can already do that but it's that specific item that can do that yeah kind of it makes it it's less already caused important. issues because at the end of Doctor Strange he just put the villain in a loop a time loop yeah so why didn't he do that to Thanos well that's an option yeah yeah, yeah. I, I do think just a quick comment on Rick and Morty that I, I, I get what they're saying with the whole not using time travel thing yeah. like it's smart but then using unlimited worlds kind of yeah. is kind of the yeah. same amount of power really yeah but, yeah. but anyway yeah, so maybe a young cap comes. Maybe it comes forward yeah. from Avengers after Could dying, do. and then that one goes Could do. back in time. Maybe it's cap maybe two of them cap. turn up. Cap just starts fighting Cap. Or dancing with himself. Oh my god. And they both realise with a Peggy mascot. 1945. <laughs> it's like the end of Deadpool 1 when he has the Hugh Jackman mascot. Maybe Deadpool <laughs> turns up. Oh wow. And steals Peggy. Oh wow. It's, it's like the end of the Looney Tunes live action film when. Um, the main villain unzips and then it's all those different characters Thanos does that and it's just Deadpool within there wow. there you go there you go that's, that's, a, that's a new theory for <laughs> um, I think one theory that I want to touch on potentially is I kind of like the idea of a big hitter one of the big guys getting killed off early on in the film and then them having to fight on from that because that puts them in a low low mm. point as characters as a team because mm. uh, you know they're kind of building this, this kind of this camaraderie this group togetherness um, and then if they go and try and fight Thanos thinking you know we can we can potentially do it having a big hitter go is like incredible like what like right they're yeah. kind of they're at all time low now and for me that character would be somebody like Captain America now you know there's the obvious that she's brand new she's just had a new you film you mean Captain Marvel did I say Captain America yeah, America. yeah well I just want Confusing. him dead I want him dead at this point okay just kill him yeah. already please um, but yeah, I think Captain Marvel is is you know she's been talked. It's controversial. About. She's like God brand new character. <laughs> yeah, she's got tier. She's brand new, and I think that's more the reason why it's better to kill off a character like that because it's the last person you would kind of put on. She's been spoken about by Kevin Feige as the most powerful hero in all of the world, all of the universe, everything like that. Mm. So to have a person like that die on their first attack would be like damn it like, would be a mental Jesus. twist like what? we have nothing left like you literally just told me that today with this yeah I wouldn't have predicted See, that I couldn't I, th- that I think be... something like that would all you know the, the alternative would be somebody like Thor but I think Thor is too ingrained and the kind of dynamic that it's the old Avengers I thought about Thor potentially being one that could be killed I off. could He's more see level. him dying than her on a first attempt I think it would be I think it'd be a wrong move. Maybe if he comes back in the end, maybe that's how they do it. But I'll, I think as a, the dynamic of the old team, the old guard, everybody coming back together mm. with the addition of others. Um, Thematically as well, do you think Thor needs to have a win? Because he yeah. essentially lost at the it's, end. It was basically, yeah, it was Thor versus Captain... Uh, sorry, Thor <laughs> versus Thanos. Wow, I just want to say Captain Thanos. America, please. Uh, yeah, it was Thor it versus was his Thanos. his kind of... Cock up. His mistake, yeah, yeah, big time that cost the whole team. So yeah, like you said, it, it was pretty much like, and like from the first film, it was Thanos as the protagonist as well, who you know yeah. kind of led the charge, and it was his film. Uh, so yeah, it'd be interesting what they do. But like I said, I kind of like the idea of Captain Marvel 
would be crazy. Potentially being killed, but then brought back later on in the film yeah. when you know the snapping is undone mm. and people come back. Um, so yeah, I think I think you know she would be back by the end of the film as a character, you know, to potentially lead the new team further. Uh, potentially taking over the Captain America mantle. <laughs> wink, wink. I can't see that. Happening. Captain. I think U- she'll be back into space. Captain afterwards. Universe, and that brings in the old '90s or '80s cartoon of Captain Universe. Did you ever see that? No. Yeah, it was great. It was great stuff. Oh dear. Put insert clips here. There yeah. you go. That's, you can that's, put some clips. That's a job me. for the editor. <laughs> It'll be me. She's one of us. <laughs> oh, great. Um, yeah. So I think that's something that we could potentially look at. Um, but yeah. That's the craziest thing that we've said, really. Yeah. Theory. Could be. But maybe that's why it works, kid. Maybe. Maybe. Well. Get us on board, Marvel. Next yeah. film. We'll just kill all your characters. <laughs> Excellent. And then forget all their names. Yep. Money, money, Hi, money. I'm Captain Marvel. And you're Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. I think that's a good... That's a good that's amount of theories. That's, there's probably a lot more theories, but there, there's oh, our theories. Yeah. A few that we've batted about. Just the day before it comes out recording. Yeah. There was another one that I heard that's not my own, so I'm not going to class this as one. Um, but, you know, potentially, because we've not seen the two characters together, uh, there's a, the, a theory that Rocket Raccoon is a child of Thanos because they've not met and he's been, like, altered, so there's the potential that, you know, he would be in some way connected to Thanos. Um, and it, I'm not too keen on that Have they theory. not met? Pardon? Have they not met? I don't think they have. On Wasn't screen. Rocket Raccoon at the end of Infinity War fighting him? Yeah, but like face to face, I don't think they've met yeah. directly. Mm. Do you know when he's like batting him away when he has the influence? Yeah. He was in Wakanda, but I'm not yeah. too sure he whether... He was there because Groot died. Yeah, because he, he's, he's there for Groot, but I don't know whether he's yeah. held off in some way, but face to face, from what I understand. This was one, like I said, it's not my theory, so I'm not going to say that I've done all the research <laughs> backing for it. Jesus Christ, I don't know. Just, um, just cause, cause yeah, 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 it was never my theory, but like I said, I'm not too keen on it either, but... I think yeah. that it kind of takes away from Nebula being there. And, and Gamora, they're both already the children. Yeah, I, I think I like And then the does idea. that make them brothers and oh sisters? Oh my gosh, what? Dun, dun, Maybe. Dun, 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 Set up for Guardians dun, dun, dun. 3. James Gunn's back, baby. Woo! Woo! Back to our first podcast. Yeah! You see, it all comes round. It all comes round. This is the end you game. See? End game. End game for our channel. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the brand new start game. Yes. And it's yeah. been a pleasure. Yeah. It's been a pleasure doing theories with you, my good friend. Yeah, so we'll do a, hopefully do a review, spoiler-free and spoilers, after we watch it. Yeah. If we're sane still. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that. I think that'd yeah. be nice. Come back. And potentially when we do a comeback video and we read through, if anybody has any of their own theories, uh, we won't be reading them until we've seen the film. Yeah, we're not we going to look at our own comments. Yes, we're not going to read the comments until after the film. We're avoiding the internet. Yeah, but if you do have any theories of your own or any you know kind of ideas that you want to happen, uh, please get them down in the comment section. Yeah. And in the next video we do on this channel... We'll say how wrong you were. We will say you are absolutely we'll you silly billies. We'll fight you. Yes, <laughs> come on, let's have you. Whip it out, Civil War. <laughs> 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 But yeah, so I think that'd be cool for us to read out yeah. some and then say, oh, that would have been good and how that would have worked for characters. So if you have any theories, any ideas, get them in below. Kids. Comment them below come and on. then you can come check them out once you've seen it. You see. See how wrong you were. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm sure. All right, well, probably not. Well, with the theories that we've done. Yeah, we've pretty much laid out the whole movie. So. Yeah. And also, we're going to be wrong. We might be right with one of them, but we're definitely going to be wrong. all of mine were right. Yep. Iron uh, Man's going to die and not die. <laughs> Excellent. It works. <laughs> Yeah, so Rocket I, takes I can't over. be wrong after this, I'll just edit out the wrong <laughs> Rocket is a child of Thanos, but also becomes Captain America. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be sick. It's going to be great. I'm not be able to hold that shield. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so thanks for listening slash watching, guys. Yeah. Check out the review once we, if we do it. <laughs> yes, we will. We will. I'll make we sure. will. I'll make sure. Joe, it'll just be Joe. It'll just be me <laughs> doing your voice. Yeah. Hello there. Hi, Hi mate. Hi. How are you doing? I'm absolutely great. Great stuff. Right. I don't know why you sound like a granny. Because I am a granny. <laughs> Plot as twist. As they know. <laughs> right, we right. need to end this. We're in the end game now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Whip it out.